What is up Team Boosted and welcome to another video. Uh, today we have a lot to do with both cars. We got a uh, Datsun that still doesn't charge after three alternators and we got to fix that so we can do our uh, end of the year burnout video. We also have some minor things to get done on the Porsche engine so that we can get that up into the car as soon as possible and meet our ridiculous 30 day deadline. So we got a lot of stuff on our plate, let's just get right into it. Let's do it. So if I understand correctly, it sucks to not be on the west coast or in Florida right now because a lot of the country is dealing with uh, temperatures that are under 10 degrees. I know back home, my family in Massachusetts, I'm pretty sure it was like four degrees this morning. Got down to negative 10 actual air temperature last night, so not a bad day to live in California. This is our readers. <laughs> don't need this much. I'm not messing around with my energy. <laughs> Goddamn z -Quil. I might have a heart attack. Right, I'm gonna show you how to go from this, which you can't do much with, to this, which looks real fancy and is incredibly safe and functional. So basically what you want to do is you take your uh, tile chisel, something to protect your driveway or whatever surface you're doing this on, and uh, you don't need any special tools for this. This makes it perfect, like almost 100% of the time. You just give it a few good strikes. You can see it's a nice clean cut with no fraying. And then you could slide your AN fitting directly over that and you're good to go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hose and I'm gonna take the, uh, the hose end of the fitting itself and just slide it over. You wanna make sure it's all the way at the bottom. It can be a pain in the ass if you have a, uh, a cut that's too messy, but this one was clean enough where I could actually take the tape off, so that's what I did on this side. Okay, now you take the end that screws into the end that goes on the hose, and at a certain point, it'll become very difficult to tighten down. Uh, we don't have the AN wrenches that you can get, so you can just put this part in a vise and uh, use the wrench that's the appropriate size for this. And once you tighten that all the way down, it expands the hose inside of this and seals it, and then um, you're good to go. Of course, the downside to this, not using the right tools, is that it kind of mars up your nice fitting, but it's functional, and if you watch our channel for any amount of time, you know that that's all we care about. Devin's almost done with the Datsun, and I'm pretty sure that the plan is to finish that up. Go get some chicken wings, and then get the Porsche engine ready to uh, go back in the car. Yeah, chicken wings. What's going on with this? Uh, I'm seeing how much wire I need to take off of this new uh, charge wire and it's half bolted in here and then once I get this on there it's just a matter of putting everything back in like the wastegate and the uh, compressor housing. Mm. Hopefully we don't blow up this alternator. It's under hey, warranty. Shouldn't, shouldn't forget this oil uh, drain line either. Nah, we don't need that. <laughs> okay, so we got our steel braided fuel line as I showed you guys earlier and then turbo, which is right here, needs oil, obviously. So what I've done here is this light was a 1 8 uh, pipe thread and that was in the bottom. So all we did is we put a T here and then a, an eighth pipe to a AN-4, I think. And then we made our dash four oil line, which is gonna go to the turbo. So really easy oil uh, plumbing to the feed. We just gotta figure out draining situation which is a little bit more complicated so after we figure out our throttle linkage and obviously I can move this anywhere it needs to go um, nothing will be difficult to access with the motor actually in the car so we'll be ready to put it back in after we pick out a clutch put on the flywheel tighten everything down looks like Devin's finishing up the dots in two um, so we'll have to go for a test drive to make sure that it charges we know it will it's whether or not it's gonna burn out the uh, the alternator and I'm just might... gonna have to monitor the laptop from now on. Even if we're not tuning, we'll just have it hooked up so that we have the uh, volt meter in there. Because it's not hooked up to the gauge. As we expected, 14 volts. It's about how long it's gonna last though. Yeah, hopefully this one lasts. That's uh, a lot better than what our old alternator was doing. It was doing just over 13. So maybe with additional accessories and stuff like that, it was dropping below and that's why we were frying them. 
This is sitting at a steady 14.1. Whoops. Way to go, Devin. That guy's car is small. This car is aggressively loud on the passenger side. It's absolutely ridiculous. But we're on our way back now. And as you can see, it's still working after what was probably only five miles, but it's still working. We got back to the house in one piece. And it charged just fine the entire way, so. We're gonna come in here now and get started on one last thing that we absolutely forgot is going to be way easier and almost impossible to do in the car, and that is to make a bracket to support this big tractor turbo. Um, if you're new here, this is an HX35. Uh, it's not the biggest turbo in the world, but it is very heavy. This is a this is a large hot side. It's just a thick uh, iron, and um, what we're gonna want to do is make some sort of brace uh, that we can bolt to the main support uh, plate that's right here. We have an idea how to do it, so we're just gonna get right into it. Yeah. We're really lucky there's no HOA in this neighborhood. <laughs> you ever consider that, Devin? It's true too. There very well might be, but no one ever complains about us. Devin looking like he's in a Home Depot commercial right now. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what it is, but this thing is making this sandpaper look crazy. Wow. <laughs> so basically what we're doing is we got these tubes which we just cut off. We're going to bridge these together with some metal and uh, then we're going to bolt the metal itself which will be a complete bracket at that point to the motor. And that'll take strain off our headers. So ghetto! <laughs> Everything we do is so ghetto! <laughs> but we're doing it. Okay, so we drilled this uh, plate with these holes in it and that's going to uh, where is it? It's gonna bridge these studs and that's gonna give us something to bolt our mount to. <laughs> There's so much splatter, but that is not a bad weld. That's a $90 Harbor Freight welder, so we only get so good with it. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's better than nothing. And uh, it'll help our headers not crack. We know we should bridge this, make a triangle out of that, and we will once it's all bolted down, but we need to get some uh, larger bolts. And because if we do that now, we won't be able to make any minor bends it might need. Uh, so this is just a, um, just a rough draft, but it's turbo bolts to the side with the loops in it. The bottom. The front. Sure. Yeah, just stick this on right now. Just like that. It will make a triangle off the back and that'll spur our turbo. Yeah. It's not pretty, but you know, this is backyard garage fabrication with a bunch yeah, of harbor freight. <laughs> yeah, with a bunch of harbor freight tools, so. So we got that done, we got the dots in working, and we begun making our AN lines for the oil feed, and we bridged the uh, fuel rails today. Getting there. Yeah, I got a couple burns on my hand. All right, guys, it's going to wrap this one up. We got a fair amount done. We got the Datsun back on the road. We got some fuel lines done. We got an oil feed line done, and we made a ghetto fabbed turbo bracket so our headers don't crack. Yeah, that means we're really close to being able to actually drop this engine down and officially put it back in the Porsche. And it feels really good to have the Datsun charging. Hopefully, that lasts. Yeah, hopefully, that lasts. So drive it around a little bit tomorrow and, and see what happens. Uh, the last thing that we're going to have to do to uh, before we can put the Porsche motor inside of the Porsche itself is to figure out the, uh, the throttle linkage, but that's still stock, so we should just be able to Google that and uh, have that done in no time. But that's the last thing that's going to be easier to do with the motor out. So we'll get that done, we'll put it in the car, and then I guess we have an entire month to get it wired. <laughs> 
So uh, our 30 day uh, goal should definitely be achievable. And we got more than 30 days too, it's not even January yet. I know I keep saying 30 days. That, that starts January 1st. Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you're unfamiliar with our channel, we give away products from BoostedChains.com every single video. Even if you don't win, but you like what we're doing here on the channel, you can support us by heading over to BoostedChains.com. Uh, we're gonna be doing a New Year's sale, uh, probably the December 30th and January 1st. Um, so that would be a good time to go over and support the channel. Um, that's the best way you can. All right, this video's winner is ASC4130SD. Okay, a combination of letters and numbers. You can hit us up at teamboosted at boostedshades.com or through any of our social media platforms. We will get back to you and ship you your, ship you, 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 ship you your prize. Um, if you're interested in winning the giveaways, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Uh, sometimes we ask you guys stuff, sometimes we don't. Uh, the question of this video is, do you think we're actually going to meet our deadline? Um, if you watched this in the past, you know that sometimes shit takes us an extremely long time, but we are being ambitious this time around. So like, subscribe, and let us know whether you not you think that we can do this in 30 days and uh, you are eligible to win the video giveaways. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.